Hello and uh, welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can uh, back up your Elasticsearch data. If you're going to go to the Greylog documentation, you're not going to find anything regarding this because they will make a reference to you to go to the Elasticsearch for snapshot and restore. And over here in the Elasticsearch snapshot and restore, the documentation is there but it's a little bit uh, hard to try and figure out which is which exactly or what are the exact steps on how to make it. Before uh, we are going into uh, the backups and details and commands and so on, uh, this is the first, uh, this is the server that we will uh, uh, use for uh, this demo. And let me show you that uh, there is actually some data, so I'm going to go to the Cisco ASA stream and over here if I'm gonna go to all messages you can see some data in here yeah now after we will gonna back up um, the data we will gonna restore it on this demo server I also want to show you how you can um, take your snapshot of a data and move it to another server to load it because uh, uh, you might want to have some kind of um, uh, environment where you're gonna load only particular snapshots like for example for a specific month uh, in a year or, or something like that you get idea so right now let's go to the CLI and here I'm gonna check uh, I'm actually going to stop the Greylock service because if you're not going to stop the Greylock service your Greylock will continually try to write data on your Elasticsearch so let's do that first okay it's running right now I'm going to stop it And let's check if it's stopped. And it is. Okay. Right now we will uh, create a folder for our backup. Let's call it <coughs> backup. So right now I'm on a root directory. Let's do an LL list all. In CentOS, yeah, so here you can see that the owner is the root of this folder. Right now, we will have to change the ownership of uh, this directory to Elasticsearch. And as you can see, uh, the permissions for Elasticsearch have been granted. Before we uh, go and configure uh, more things uh, let me talk to you a little bit uh, about uh, the uh, snapshot and restore features uh, the the snapshot uh, or a snapshot can be restored into an elastic search uh, cluster or a server via the restore api and uh, a, repo a repository needs to be registered before you can perform a snapshot and restore operations in Elasticsearch. So to, did, to do this, we will need to go to the YAML file for Elasticsearch. And over here in our paths, uh, We will type in path dot repo colon for slash backup. Then we will gonna save the configuration. And right now we will start the Elasticsearch service. Good. 
Good, everything is running fine. And uh, right now let's create a snapshot. Uh, because the commands over here, they are, um, are quite long. I'm gonna use uh, the copy and paste feature. And by the way, this, uh, all of these commands, they will gonna be down below into the description. So please make sure that uh, you're gonna check them. And right now we will gonna take a snapshot. Um, if you're running a cluster, make sure you replace the uh, local host name here with uh, an IP address of one of your master node uh, servers. Uh, the type is uh, file system, okay, settings, location. Um, here is the location for our folder or directory, which is named backup. And by the way, if you're uh, doing this uh, on a uh, Elasticsearch cluster, make sure that all of your nodes, they have uh, uh, access to that mounted folder. So how you can mount a folder in uh, Linux, um, you will need to use uh, network file share. So you have a servers for storage, uh, you're sharing via network uh, a specific folder, and um, all of the other devices, all of your uh, Elasticsearch nodes, they will need to mount that folder from uh, the storage server uh, and they will need to have um, write access over there in order to make the backup. But uh, here we were gonna do it locally. There is no need, uh, there is no need for such a thing. And by the way, if you have no idea how to do a network file sharing via Linux, I'm gonna uh, put a link down below into the description, which explains you how exactly you can do it. Okay, so uh, long story short, short, we were gonna do the snapshot, we were gonna create it. Right now we will need to make sure that the snapshot was created. There it is. Let's check the indices uh, running here locally. And we can see that we have um, around uh, 300 uh, megabytes. Right now we will take a snapshot. So uh, over here, one thing that you need to look out for is the snapshot name. Uh, here I just named it uh, first uh, first snapshot. You can do whatever naming you would uh, wish. You can do it by date, by year, by month, and so on. Yeah, or use something like I used first snapshot, second snapshot, or whatever. Yeah. So we're gonna take a little bit of time until it's completed. Okay, so. You can see that uh, the total is 20, failed 0, successful 20, which is good. And right now we will need to verify uh, to see if the backup is okay. There it is. You see here, state success. And right now, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to delete the indices, which means that I'm going to delete the data that we have on our Elasticsearch. And if we, we were gonna check for the indices, you will see that there is absolutely nothing. So all the data is gone. Right now, I'm gonna show you how you can restore it. And to restore from a snapshot, you will have to use this command. That means the snapshot, then the uh, Snapshot name, the one that you want to restore, and everything should be fine. Again, it will gonna take a little bit of time. And here we see that we have a total of 20 and a successful uh, ones are 20. And right now, let's go and uh, check for indices again. And you can see that our indices are back uh, back again. 
And of course, if you would like to go and uh, see it in gray log, you can do that one as well. Okay, let's go back to the web interface. It will take a little bit of time until it recovers. Okay, so right now it's uh, back online. And let's check our data. And yeah, our messages are uh, back again. Let's move on to the second part of the tutorial in which we will gonna take uh, the data from uh, uh, this server right here and we will gonna move it to this one right here and if I'm gonna refresh it and go to all messages you can see that there is absolutely nothing we will have to go to the CLI of uh, this service of uh, this server and uh, stop the Greylock service. So, just want to make sure that we are on the second one and we are. Let's stop the Greylock service. Okay. Okay, we are on the root directory, let's do a list all, and there is nothing in here, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, copy the backup folder from this server, and of course also the backup information from this one to this one, uh, using uh, SCP. So right now I'm going to use uh, SCP to move the data from uh, one server, actually not to move it, to copy it to another server, yeah. And for some reason it doesn't want to work. And yeah, it doesn't work because we didn't use the recursive command, I think. Let's try it with that one. So, let's do this. Uh, let's make sure that we don't... Let's make sure that we don't have it in here and we don't have it. So, I'm going to use SCP-R. Yeah, and right now, hopefully, it's going to work out. And it does. <laughs> so we will have to just wait a bit until all the data is uh, fully copied. And it is. Right now, it's okay. Let's go and check it. Yeah, we can see the backup folder. Uh, let's change the ownership of this directory. to Elasticsearch. Okay, right now is good. Let's go and modify the YAML file of Elasticsearch. Okay, we already had uh, some kind of snapshots in here, so uh, let's go to the latest one, which is backup. And uh, then we will gonna write it. We will have to restart the Elasticsearch service. Okay, let's check the status of it. Ok, 
okay it's all good and uh, let's check for the indices and as you can see we have something around i don't know one megabyte yeah uh, almost uh, zero data <laughs> and um, here we will have to use a trick actually to load the, the snapshot which came from uh, another elastic search so first we will have to create the snapshot with the backup location or backup directory as a location so i'm going to put it this way and right now we will delete all the indices because we just don't need the previous ones right they are like totally useless okay let's check again to see if the indices are still in there and they aren't which is good and right now we will have to restore it so make sure about the uh, snapshot name make sure you restore the correct one yeah so i'm gonna do it like this and it should be restored successfully after some time hopefully okay and we have a total of 20 and successful 20 and right now we can check our indices this doesn't look good let's do it like this okay indices and as you can see they are restored yeah so they are loaded on another server on another elastic search environment and uh, let's restart our greylock service okay it's all running fine let's go to our web interface right now and uh, reload it uh, of course it will gonna take some time for you to come back okay it's finally up and right now if we were gonna go to the streams you will not gonna be able uh to see your streams as you were able to see it in here right so all of this data will gonna be in one single place like for example if you're gonna go to the indices and go to the index set you're gonna see that everything is going to the default index right it doesn't matter if you had different index so um let's search for the Cisco ASA logs. So I'm going to do it like this. So I'm going to go to search, search in all messages using this. Okay, and as you can see, all the data is loaded. So we loaded all the data from this server or we moved it or copied it into another environment so you can do this one just fine if you want to see if you're doing uh, tons and tons of uh, snapshots you can uh, and then you want to uh, load a snapshot to investigate something or to take a look at some logs you can do it this way uh, thanks for watching don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video you can also try to hit the bell icon uh, to see to get notified when a new video is uploaded or for example you can uh, follow me on twitter facebook uh, all the links will gonna be down below into the description 
uh, yeah, what is, don't forget to subscribe, uh, like the video, and um, I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope that it's uh, useful for you, and uh, I'm going to talk to you guys in the next one.